100 mile an hour tails. The three billy goats gruff. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats who lived quite happily munching grass in their meadow until one day the grass was all gone and they had nothing to eat. On the other side of the river, there was a large hill covered in succulent green grass. Unfortunately, the bridge across the river was guarded by a hideous troll who would eat anyone who dared to cross. The billy goats were terrified, but they were so hungry that they decided to face him. The first to cross was the smallest billy goat, who was stopped by the ferocious troll. Don't eat me, said the smallest billy goat. My bigger brother will be along shortly, and he'll be a much more satisfying meal than I would be. The greedy troll agreed and let the smallest billy goat cross the bridge. Next came the middle-sized billy goat, and again the troll threatened to gobble him up. My even bigger brother will be along in a minute, he said, and he would certainly make a much more gratifying feast. Again, the greedy troll agreed and let the billy goat cross the bridge. Before long, the third billy goat arrived. Don't eat me, he said. My huge, delicious, succulent, plump brother will be along in a moment. You should wait for him. Once more, the troll agreed. By now, he was quite peckish and excited at the prospect of a good meal. The troll couldn't believe his eyes. It was the biggest goat he had ever seen, and without hesitation, he swallowed it whole. Unfortunately, his greediness led to a slight case of indigestion. Needless to say, the three billy goats lived happily ever after. mile an hour tails. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Once upon a time there was a queen who named her daughter Snow White because her skin was so fair and lovely. Unfortunately, the queen died and Snow White's father married a new queen who wasn't very nice at all. In fact, she was evil, vain and wicked. Every morning she would stand in front of a magic mirror and say, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? The mirror would always answer, you are my queen. Seasons passed, and as the years went by, Snow White's cruel and wicked stepmother continued to treat her very bad indeed, and although her life wasn't easy, Snow White grew into a very beautiful young woman with fair skin and jet black hair. One day the queen asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? The mirror replied, Snow White is the fairest of them all. The queen wasn't at all pleased and ordered a servant to take Snow White into the forest and kill her. The servant did as he was instructed, but luckily for Snow White, the servant couldn't bring himself to kill her because she was so lovely. Instead, he released her and told her to run and hide in the forest where she would be safe from the Black Queen. In the forest, Snow White met seven dwarves who befriended her and in exchange for doing their cooking, cleaning and other light domestic duties, gave her food and shelter in the little cottage. She lived happily with the dwarves and took care of them and they loved her dearly. Then one day when the evil queen asked her magic mirror, who's the fairest of them all? The mirror once again replied, Snow White. The evil queen was not at all happy that Snow White was still alive. She cunningly disguised herself as an old peddler woman and made a batch of rosy red poisoned apples. She went to the dwarf's house and tempted Snow White into eating a poisoned apple, which she did, and immediately it put her into an everlasting sleep. The dwarves placed Snow White in a glass coffin and kept watch over her until one day a handsome prince passed by. He was so taken with Snow White's beauty that he just had to kiss her. The kiss broke the spell and Snow White woke from her deep sleep and soon she and the prince were married and they lived happily ever after. As for the evil stepmother, some say she got so enraged that she dropped dead. I have my own ideas. Don't go too far. It's jelly sandwiches for dinner. I won't. Promise. Bye. Ooh, I wonder what's in here. What that scary noise was. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. Oh no, it's that scary noise again. Hello, what are you doing in my cave? Hello, I'm the boy from far away. 
and I'm just having a look around. What are you? I'm a bear. Why were you doing that big roar noise? It scared me a little bit. That wasn't a roar. It was my tummy rumbling. <laughs> oh, yes. Why is your tummy making those noises? I've been asleep all winter and I've woken up very hungry. Don't you have any food to eat? There doesn't seem to be any food around here. Hmm, what could we do? Boy, hurry up. Dinner time. Whew, I've got an idea. I hope you like jelly sandwiches. I hope so too. Mum, I've got a friend coming for dinner. Oh my goodness, that's a big friend you've got. I'd better get some more jelly. And don't you get hair all over the furniture. Don't be late for dinner. It's your favourite. Beans and banana. I won't, Mum. I'll be back soon. Mmm, yummy. Beans and banana. Hello. You're a funny-looking little thing. What are you? Hello, I'm a fly. And what funny-looking thing are you? I'm the boy from far away. What do flies do? Um, a few things, but mainly just fly around. Wow, that sounds fun. Can I fly around with you? You might be a bit big for flying around. <laughs> I've got an idea. Hey, that's cool. Jump on board. <laughs> I'm stuck. We'll never get out of this spider's web. Mmm. Dinner time. Dinner time? Oh, no. I think he's going to eat us. I think it's me he wants to eat. He thinks I'm tasty. Like beans and banana? No. Chocolate. Now, how do we get out of this web? Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold on tight. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Are you okay, Fly? I'm okay. Thanks, boy. Boy, dinner's ready. Come on, Fly. Let's go and have some dinner. Do you like beans? No. Bananas? Oh, yes. My favourite. Ah! Oh, boy, get that fly away from your food. Oh. But he's having some bananas.